Hey YouTube, I'm Mark. I'm Rocky. And we are This, this Cruise Life. Life. So Carnival made some major announcements today when it comes to dining options on board. And I've said it in my bio, I've talked about it before on Twitter, Cruise food is part of what drew me to the cruise experience. Yeah, absolutely. Whenever we go into the main dining room, we're always ordering multiple appetizers, multiple entrees, multiple desserts. We like to try things. We do. And, and we're hungry boys. <laughs> that, that too. <laughs> but one of the biggest changes that Carnival just announced was part of the main dining room experience at night. Yes, absolutely. So Carnival today sent a very wordily written email. <laughs> yes, they did. Uh, I don't know who wrote Christine Duffy, president of Carnival Cruise Line, who signed the email. She was busy signing her autograph on the celebration today, so I'm true, not sure. <laughs> true, Carnival did accept the celebration today. I don't know who wrote this, but it is literally one of the wordiest emails from it, Carnival. Can, really I just, can I just share something yeah. actually real quick? Yeah. I have it right here because I was just, we have all experienced the impact of inflation, higher fuel prices, and supply chain challenges. Okay. Yeah. But then it goes on, the food supply chain challenges have been further complicated by global politics and a myriad of laws regarding how we source products and how crops and animals are farmed and handled. <laughs> At Carnival, we have worked hard, very hard, to minimize the impact on our guests, committed to our promise to make Carnival the most memorable, fun, and best value vacation option on land or at sea. We have reached a point where our food cat with our food costs, however, where we must take some modest but specific actions, which we know most of you have done yourselves, whether with your dining out patterns or shopping to stock the refrigerator or pantry. That's the opening. Yeah, it's it's a breathy opening. And it goes and it goes on and on and on from there. Uh, it was just uh, it was odd. Yeah. I think they were expecting a lot of backlash from their message. And so that's why they opened it with such I, a colorful and flowery opener. I'm guessing they're expecting a myriad, a myriad of backlash. Yes. Um, anyway, so the, the changes are, there, there are some major changes. Let's start with uh, dining room entrees. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the way that it's changed for the dining room is you can order two full plates of dinner. Two entrees. entrees and you can add additional ones after that, but it's gonna be $5 per additional add-on meal. Or for our friends in Australia, 20% of you, $7, seven, $7. Seven Australian dollars. Yes. <laughs> yeah, um, now if you want to, you can order the half portion. Wait a minute, does this impact my love of appetizers because I love all things carnival soups? It only talks about the entrees. Okay, fantastic, I, I, I'm okay with that. <laughs> yep. um, I don't know of a lot of you out there that order Three or more. Three or more yeah. entrees. Um, so here's a picture of two. Here's another picture of two. Actually, here's an example of my brother. I would have just cost him five dollars for that <laughs> for that uh, third entree Whoops. right there. Big so thunder. so yes. So any entree above the second, there is now a charge. And again, you heard it from that uh, intro. It's because of farming animals. It's because it's a myriad of issues. <laughs> yes. <laughs> What's specialty so, restaurants? So specialty restaurants. If you want to have dinner in the steakhouse on the ship, uh, that price is going to go up from forty-two dollars to forty-eight dollars per person now. If you are planning to eat at a specialty restaurant, if you're sailing and before December thirty-first, you have the ability to jump into your planner and book those at today's rates. If you're sailing after January 1st, 2023, if you didn't book those November 2nd or prior, you'll, you will be charged the, the new rates according to the emails. And so this applies to specialty restaurants, specifically the steakhouse, which we mentioned. Right. There were a couple of others called out. Yeah, the Rudy Seagrill and Bonsai Teppanyaki are the other two that we noticed. Now the email does state that specialty dining prices will increase. So. TBD on what that means for the rest of the specialty dining prices in the fleet. Yeah, very true. It looks like there's been some other changes to the fleet um, that's based on food waste. So according to Carnival's email, complimentary ice cream, swirls, which we know and love. Here's a picture from after midnight. Here's another picture from after midnight. Uh, here's a picture from 9 a.m. Sometimes we like ice cream in the morning. Ice Don't judge. For breakfast, why not? Don't judge. Right? Um, swirls, uh, ice cream will only now be available from 11 a.m. Until midnight. Until midnight. 
So gone are the ice cream, late night ice cream pizza runs. Yes. I mean, those were so those were great. Those so good. Uh, the, could be a variety of reasons. Right. Again, Carnival claims that it is to reduce food waste. There's a lot of ice cream waste at, after hours. I suspect, though, that it has something to do with drawing kids right. and... That and curfew that's been created on the ships at 1 a.m. To try to reduce some of the you know fights that have broken out, <laughs> stuff like that. Um, I, I don't know if there's a lot of fights over ice cream, um, but <laughs> it is, it is a dis that's a disappointing it change is. to me. The yeah. third plate in the dining room, not super disappointing. Upcharged steakhouse going, uh, you know, increase in price, not a big. Doesn't really affect us much. 24-7 swirls, that's been a staple since 2014. Since I took my first cruise in 2014, that's been a staple of cruising. Yeah, yeah. So that's a little bit of a bummer. Carnival, I'm going to I'm gonna read just again, just to highlight how wordy this email was. <laughs> While ice cream for breakfast or at 2 a.m. sounds like a great idea when you're on vacation, the truth is that is where we are seeing lots of waste. And this is one of those times when we ask guests to join us in our efforts to reduce food waste in a way that will have a negligible impact on the overall vacation experience. Is it negligible, though, if they're removing that option during those times? Uh, not only that, just tell me. Uh, hey, dude, to reduce food waste, there's a lot of waste uh, after midnight. We are curtailing the ice cream to 11 a.m. to midnight. It was right. just such right. a, The whole email is a little bit weird. The final thing the email mentions is Carnival will continue to look at consumption habits. They will look at uh, items on the menu that are popular. They will look at how to how to change the serving of certain items to reduce uh, food waste. Example that I will tell you right now, on the Horizon sale two weeks ago, it featured vegetarian at dinner, was no longer served with all of the sides. So that second oh, plate, do you remember that? Yeah. So when I got my pl first plate, and you typically get that second huge plate of all of these sides that no one ever touches, or that right. I've not seen many people touch, Right. they didn't even bring that second plate. It was literally just the Indian dish, and that was it. Mm -hmm. So there's an example of how they might reformulate a dish to reduce, yeah. to reduce waste. So in summary, here are the changes that were outlined in the email. One, you order a third entree in the main dining room, you're going to pay $5, $7 Australian. Two, steakhouse dining is going to go up in price. And then also some specialty dining options across specific ships in the fleet will also see increases in their prices. Like a Rudy Seagrill and a... And a bonsai teppanyaki. Yep, absolutely. Three, ice cream goes from 24-7, a carnival staple, something that, that we've known and loved and enjoyed, goes from 24-7 to 11 a.m. to midnight. And all of these are in an effort to, there's a myriad of reasons, <laughs> um, but they're all in an effort to reduce food waste, uh, to, to combat inflation, to deal with the political pressures around the world. Um, in all seriousness, here's the email. Uh, there's a lot of reasons that Carnival gives, but but those are the, the quick updates from our perspective. Final thought, and, and we talked about this a little bit earlier, who's gonna be in charge of enforcing this? Are we truly, like, is it gonna be the, the staff in the dining room, truly, that's stretched so thin already, monitoring how many dishes people get, collecting sale and sign cards, going back to the kiosk and entering it in. It just, that piece is going to be interesting to see how, for the, for the, the third the, portion yeah, piece, the dollar, yeah. it'll be really interesting to see how Carnival implements that. Yep, for sure. So with that said, there is still going to be a myriad of food <laughs> choices on your Carnival cruise vacation. I can, I can tell you that. Uh, you, you, you just won't be able to eat ice cream 24 seven. You won't be able to eat anything 24 nope. seven except for paid room service paid room service so wow now you have the details and our thoughts until next time we're gonna go grab something to eat while we still can <laughs> ice cream <laughs> so remember to like and subscribe and ring that notification bell until next time bye